What's up YouTube, Jack your Moreland here and uh, I got a pretty good video for you guys today. So uh, this video is about trying to fix my truck. Uh, this is just a start. Um, this was recommended to me by Sean Hill. I really appreciate your help and just advice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try that today. I know, I think you would like to see it, see if it would work out. Anyway, so Sean suggested, or he not only gave me a bunch of advice and stuff and different things to say, but he said, try to check the transmission fluid and which I've never done in the truck. Uh, I bought it over 200,000 miles and you know, the transmission was shifting kind of funny and it was just one of those things where I just wasn't really thinking about it. And uh, honestly, I just knew that, you know, if, if something was gonna happen, it was most likely gonna be the transmission. But anyway, Sean Hill said, check the transmission fluid while it is hot, it's at temperature and it's running. So I will do that today. I'm gonna go pick up some uh, transmission fluid, possibly stop leak or, or not stop leak, but uh, something like transmission fix or something, something you can just pour in and maybe it'll fix it. And uh, we'll see what that does today. So I'll take you guys there today. I'm going to Napa to pick up the stuff and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get her done guys. Okay, so we're in the new car now. We just got done in, in uh, Napa and I picked up, I went with Lucas Oil Products because I've had really good luck with them in the past. So uh, pretty much from my understanding here is this is kind of like the fluid and this is kind of like the fix, um, they, you know, so. Uh, put a little bit of this in it, a little bit of this in it if it needs it. All of that costs at a total of twenty-eight thirty-eight, which is kind of, a, you know, it's kind of expensive for two little bottles of stuff, but it's worth it to me to try. Um, 30 bucks isn't that big. There she sits. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the keys and then uh, try to see what this does. You can see the size difference in these things. It's really crazy when you've been driving that for a while and then you go to that. Uh, go ahead and give her a start. See if it actually, uh, I don't think it'll whine this time when I start it, so. Yeah, just a little bit. So now we wait. Gotta wait till it's at operating temperature. I've heard what it sounds like with the Mustang when it's, you know, when it's bad. When gears aren't meshing the right way. That's kind of what it sounds like. Go ahead. Pop this and see where I gotta check the fluid at. Alrighty. Right. right here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out now. There's definitely fluid on it. I don't see any metal shavings in it. Put it back in. It's starting to make it again. Okay, so that, that check was when it was not warm. I just started it, so. So another weird thing is that fluid actually is still red. Um, I know with the Mustang, it was definitely a, you know older transmission fluid. I had about 100,000 miles on it, and it was black, um, closer to black. I mean, you could still see a red tint in it, but it was a very dark red, uh, kind of like wine, like a really maroon burgundy wine color. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of weird that it looks new. Um, I, like I said, I haven't checked the fluid in at least 30,000 miles that I've had it. Um, and it's got 270,000 miles on it. So, I don't know. Let's just see. That's weird. Still aren't nowhere near operating temperature. Poor thing too, when you rev it, it gets faster like it is in reverse. it sounds like it stopped now so what it i don't know maybe this would fix it because honestly to me it sounds like you know when you would rev it it spins the pump that's in it and then it lubricates it and as of right now it's lubricated and it's going through its system so at idle the pump isn't spinning that fast so now like all the fluids kind of settle to the bottom until you rev it again and uh that's kind of like my logic. So maybe put fluid in it would help. Go ahead and prepare this stuff to go in. I'm probably going to put this one in first. Also, it's completely gone. I'm going to rev it. It's gone. Pretty syrupy, uh, pretty thick in consistency. Um, definitely want that to go in first. Um, as you can see right here, it's slowly coming down. And this one right here is, is more of the fluid instead of the fix. It's uh, not as thick. So it's not at its full operating temperature yet, but it's pretty close. And I figured now's a good time to go ahead and just put some in it. Like I said, I'm gonna start with the uh, the fix first instead of the actual fluid. Check it again. All 
right, so here. So upon further inspection, it does look like it is low. It is right below the second mark, or like the low mark. So it's not in between, so that, that is low. Just pour some of that in there. This stuff is like maple syrup thick. It's pretty crazy. Or actually honey, more like honey. It's a little bit above half. It's still whining. Looks, I don't. It, it was like honey thick, so I don't think it's completely going to end the transmission yet. Maybe a little bit has. It's still whining. Uh, so I'm gonna go drive around now and see what happens. After a drive, you can already see I went at least a mile around the, the apartment complex. I just put a whole bottle of this stuff in. Um, I probably need to put a little bit more of that in. But honestly, guys. It, um, it, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything, um, really at all. Uh, by the way, before I pulled, poured the whole bottle of this stuff in, I know it's bad to overfill transmissions and stuff, but um, when I checked it, even though I put some of this in, it was still in the same spot. Um, so honestly, I don't. At this point, I don't think I can do it any worse. I mean, shit, I've got drive right now, and if I lose that, it's okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive it around now that I put this in it, and I don't even think I'm gonna put more of that in there because it really. So we're gonna try to drive this around, see what happens. So this is the final of the video. Um, God damn, just fucking motherfuckers stupid around here. So anyway, uh, it started to rain. As you guys can see, it's not raining bad, but it's sprinkling. Uh, I put at least half of that in, and then the whole thing of that, and it didn't do anything. I still do not have reverse. Uh, reverse is still gone, and it's still whining. So. I don't know it doesn't sound as bad but i still don't have reverse so it's still fucked up so again a huge thanks to sean hill um it was worth a shot and i uh, appreciate the advice and uh, if you guys got any other advice out there um let me know uh like i say pretty much from what it's looking like right now i'm gonna do a rebuild um that's kind of where i'm leaning towards i don't know uh jags have some built transes for a pretty good price so I just i just really don't know um but like i say i'll get back with you guys and hopefully this video will get pretty big and uh Normally Lucas products do pretty good, but I mean, shit, some stuff, you know, you can't fix. Now, I don't blame Lucas at all. I mean, you know, I should have known that it wasn't gonna work, but it's okay, no big deal. Um, now I know that there's Lucas all in it. That adds value if I'm gonna sell it, which I'm not going to, but I'm just joking. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates.